Oh, heaven on earth. Dang, get it. Don't mind the mess. We've been unboxing. Today's an amazing day. An amazing, amazing day because we are going to Disneyland. I am a Disney fanatic. We are key card pass. We are those people. So we go once a month, but I'm so happy we're going today because not only is it just me and Sebastian, I'm actually meeting with my parents. I actually think we're going to California Adventure, not Disneyland, but we may hop over. I guess we'll just see based on time, but it is currently 9.10 and we are planning to leave out of here around 9.50. So I got about 40 minutes to get my look together. Hair is already done, outfits done, which I'm just wearing this really, really cute Disney top from my girlfriend's shop. I'm gonna tag her right here. She has the cutest stuff. And I just love that she always carries a bunch of cute, like vintage Disney tees as well. Some leggings, some high socks. And then once I'm done getting ready, I'm gonna show you guys the jacket, the ears, the glasses and purse that kind of ties whole looking together. Um, the last time I went to Disneyland, I received so many compliments on my complexion and you guys were wondering how I got my makeup to last the whole day. So I'm gonna walk you guys through a long lasting foundation routine that is really easy to achieve. It's honestly very similar to what I always do. It's just a couple of different products, but this is the face that I wear when I go to amusement parks. When I'm going out, I'm somebody who does not like to touch up, so I only carry my lip products and a mirror to just kind of see the look. But for the most part, when it comes to my complexion, I never touch up. I lock and secure that face in and it doesn't move or budge and it actually looks better throughout the day like my skin just uh my skin just works with this so well so i'm gonna show you guys what i like to use on days like this again long lasting makeup and just like a good foundation routine if you are somebody who doesn't like to touch up so let's get ready so number one most important step you guys should know this by now when doing your complexion is prepping the skin this is the number one most important step in my makeup routine i do not skip it and when i do it's just not laying how it normally does so prep is key remember that once again prep is key i'm gonna go in with this vitamin water from fresh beauty this is the vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water it's a skin nutrition face mist with vitamin fruit complexion and honestly just makes your skin feel so good and it's super glowy so i'm spraying this all over and then next i'm gonna go in with this amazing toner from glow recipe this is the watermelon glow pha bha pore tightening toner this is gonna hydrate the skin give it tons of glow and it's also pore refining I like to work this into my hands and press it all over. And I am truly a fan of this product right here. It has become one of my favorites. A couple other ones that I really have been into lately have been, obviously this one, the Texture, texture Tonic from Tatcha. Amazing, I just finished that actually. And then also the Glow Toner from Ren Beauty. Those have been my favorites. I love using them day and night and I kind of alternate them depending on how my skin is feeling. Since it's feeling good, I'm not having any problems with dryness and no texture, this is the way to go. So next I'm gonna go in with my daily serum from Lancome. This is the Renergy HCF Triple Serum. This has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, furlic acid. Pretty much that is a powerful antioxidant that's gonna protect the skin. And then hyaluronic acid, as you know, is going to add tons of hydration. And then niacinamide is a working form of vitamin C, so that's gonna help brighten up any kind of dark spots, imperfections, and make the skin just look visibly brighter. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every product that I've added is just kind of adding another layer of glow and hydration and radiance, and it just keeps getting better. Next, I'm gonna go in with some eye cream from Murad. This is the Target Wrinkle Corrector, and I'm just going to add a little bit right here. And then I actually, and I'm gonna go in with the backside and use this to push the product into the skin. It's nice and cooling, so it's gonna help to depuff. But what I love is that this really smooths this area out. It kind of mattifies it as well. So if you feel like you do have a little bit more defined, fine lines, I think you'll see a difference with this because I feel like it fills it in. And anytime I add my concealer, it lays on. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be explaining this correctly with you guys, but what I have noticed about this eye cream is that it has more of a matte finish. It kind of looks more matte compared to like something like banana bright cream or the summer fridays eye cream why i like that is because whenever i lay on my concealer it lays on a much more kind of softer velvety finish i find it to make my under eye concealer wear so much better smoother and if you're somebody who has a little bit more of noticeable fine lines i think you will see a difference with this one because i mean it's called target wrinkle corrector so it definitely targets those fine lines and really fills them in next i'm going to go in with some sunscreen because we are going to be outside it is super important that we add sunscreen on okay next product i'm 
gonna go in with is some sunscreen. This is super important, especially because I'm gonna be outside. Please remember to wear your sunscreen. Do not leave this out of your skincare routine. Please listen to me. So this one is a brand new one from Glow Recipe. It is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen with SPF 50. I am actually such a fan of the entire Watermelon Glow line from Glow Recipe. Obviously, like, <laughs> I just love it. I just love their products, they're so good. But I'm gonna add this sunscreen on. This is an incredible daily sunscreen that is not only going to protect your skin, but it is also going to add so much hydration. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, aloe vera, lactic acid, and it also has their iconic watermelon extract in there. I've been using it for the last few weeks since I got it in PR a little early. Wow, I feel seriously like a dumpling right now. We have one last product to put on the skin before we move into foundation, and that is gonna be primer. And I have found two of the best primers out there for long, long lasting makeup, and they are these two right here. I have the more expensive one, and then I have the dupe version, and honestly, they work the same. So this one is from Milk. It is the Hydro Grip Primer. This truly locks your makeup in, makes it last all day, does not budge. It is just one of my favorites. And then recently, e.l.f. came out with the Power Grip Primer. They are almost identical to each other. The consistencies are almost the same. I haven't done a wear test on both of these to see like which one is better. Maybe I should one of these days. Not today though. But maybe I should do like half and half, but I have to say they are very similar. So if you are looking to save a few bucks, I would recommend definitely going for the e.l.f. one. If you don't mind spending a little more for just a little bit better quality, then I would definitely go for the milk one. So today I'm gonna stick with the e.l.f. primer to show you guys how it wears. I'm gonna add this to my T-zone first, and then from there I'm gonna tap it all over. I also wanna point out the fact that I love that my glow is still coming through. Sometimes you put a primer on and the glow is completely gone. It mattifies the skin. It's not the same anymore. It changes like the finish you have going on, but this is still letting my glow shine through and that's what it is, I really love it. I'm gonna put a paper towel on my shirt just in case. I sometimes don't trust myself. I do, but sometimes, sometimes I start working really fast and then, Next, I'm gonna go in my foundation. Now, this really changes depending on how my skin is doing, the mood, where I'm going to, what the event is. For today, I'm gonna go in with a pretty light to medium coverage foundation. So I'm gonna use the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Stromboli. I am personally a fan of all of NARS complexion products. I think they are some of the best out there. So I'm gonna take in this brush from It Cosmetics and pretty much target this um, all over, except the under eye area. But Pretty much just like the perimeter of my face, cheeks, and where I want more coverage. Uh, soon I will give you guys more of an in-depth video on this foundation because it has become one of my daily favorite foundations that I've been wearing for day and night. Just leaves you with that second skin finish, however, still giving you coverage. It's just a win, so I have a video coming up on that very, very soon for you guys. Forgive me, guys. I have a new camera, and I am learning how to use this. But what I'm doing now is going in with my Magic Touch Concealer from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade number seven. This concealer is a medium coverage, but you can definitely build it up to be a little bit more full. And I love this one because it does have like a gorgeous finish to it. It's not mattifying, it's not really heavy, it looks really nice on the skin. Just like any other concealer, you can multi-use this concealer. So once I let it sit into the skin for a few minutes, I'm now gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend it out. If you want more of a fuller coverage, it is important that you press it into the skin like I am doing. If you try to move left and right or do it with the brush, it's going to lift up the concealer and give you less coverage. I'm gonna go in now and set my skin lightly with a little bit of this Makeup Forever powder. And I'm taking this pretty much just in my T-zone area. So tapping it right in the center where I get a little shiny. So this is pretty much just going to lock in the foundation. And as you can see, I picked up a little bit and I'm dusting on the skin, but I'm just using whatever's left on the brush to spread it all over. Okay, so now that we got that locked in, we're gonna go ahead and add some powder bronzer, powder blush, um, loose setting powder, and then a shit, and I mean a ton of setting spray. This is going to transform the skin and get it glowy back again. You'll see right now what I mean. This, I'm gonna pick up the same brush I used to put my powder on with, adding it in my bronzer from MAC. This is Give Me Sun, one of my favorites. I actually just restocked on this and it's still the best one out there in my opinion. So with this bronzer, I'm adding it into, I'm starting at the outer corner of my cheeks and then working it to my apples. And one of the reasons I really love this bronzer is, is because it is a mineral skin finish. Now the MAC Mineral Skin Finish line is my favorite because to me, it leaves more of a radiance on the skin. And to me, the whole line makes your skin just look so airbrushed. So that's one of the reasons why I really like it. And it just looks, natural you know some bronzers make your skin look muddy or heavy looking this one just gives that second skinish that second skin finish next i'm gonna go in with this blush aesthetic palette from laura lee los angeles and i'm gonna go in with strawberry ice cream and add this to the apples of my cheeks 
pretty much adding this to the apples but then also slightly going over the bronzer and then up into the temple area perfect lastly we got to hit some setting powder on so i'm gonna go in with my absolute favorite which is laura mercier i have many that i use but i always go back to this one it's just my favorite so um this is their limited edition one that they came out with for their 25th anniversary the size is double i love the lid on this as well it gives me a very vintage vibe and then also the art on the packaging is absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna use this powder to pretty much bake but when i bake i pretty much just do my under eyes i don't really do as much anymore I feel like before I used to carve this out and do this and do that, but now it's simply just right here for brightening, locking, and smoothing purposes. I'm gonna do a really, really quick eyeshadow look. I'm using the Transitions palette from Dominique Cosmetics. It looks kind of like a bronzer too, which is really nice. Adds a transition, but also is like an everyday kind of color. I'm gonna add a little bit of natural onto the center of the eye. When it comes to going to Disney or pretty much anywhere, I don't care to do much shadow. I care more about my complexion versus like my eye makeup look, but I still do a little something something and this right here is more than enough. We are gonna do an eyeliner, but we're gonna do a dark brown eyeliner. This one's from House Labs in the shade Whiskey. Liner, mascara, oh. liner, mascara, brows are done. Lastly for this look, I'm gonna go ahead and add a quick lash. Once the lash was on, I'm actually a different person. But lastly, we're gonna go ahead and dust away the under eye setting powder. So I dust and then I press. I'm gonna go in with, with Cool Brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Usually when I go to Disneyland, I always wear matte lips, especially because there's a lot of wind, uh, eating and whatnot. The gloss is bound to fade throughout the day. And I feel like it gets annoying to touch it up over and over again. It's windy, hair gets everywhere. No thank you. I love it. That is so cute, but I'm gonna take a gloss anyways, just in case, you never know. And then lastly, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glow onto the cheeks. There was already some glow happening on the skin, so I just added over that area. This is my jacket for the day. And then these are the ears that I'm wearing today. I'm not gonna put them on right now, but once we get there, I will put them on. Phone, I always pack a charger, because you never know. I have a portable one, but it's not charged. What's the point of having a portable one if you don't charge it? This right here is my absolute favorite hair perfume. I purchased this last week and can't stop spraying it. Here's my makeup in downstairs lighting. I want to show you guys without the ring light and without the light, but it looks it looks pretty good if you ask me. Let me know what you guys think. Would you guys wear a look like this? This is Sebastian's favorite glam look. It's funny because Sebas has this look that he loves for me, but this is like the glam one that he actually really, really likes. He likes when I don't wear eyeshadow, and I am wearing eyeshadow, but he thinks that's no eyeshadow. Boys. So we are about to have some lunch, and we ordered from the uh, Cocina Cucamanga. This is the tacos dorados de papa. We also got the birria tacos. I also ordered my parents the same thing as well. They wanted to try it. How are those? The tacos de papa are it. Mm -hmm. Bomb, bomb, bomb. What do you get? 9.1? 8.1. What do you need for a 9? Five. <laughs> you need a lot more. Dads are bigger, more meat, more cheese, más dorado, and more love. These? They're good. This is like the corporate birria tacos. But they're the good though. They're not but that bad. For Disneyland, really good, but... them. for Disneyland, see, I want them. For Disneyland, see, I want them. This is like the McDonald's, McDonald's of birria tacos. <laughs> <laughs> I love McDonald's. <laughs> Next up, we have a cream cheese pretzel. These are honestly 10 out of 10. These are a must when you come to Disneyland. <laughs> you guys, I met one of my supporters right here. What's Hi, your name? Carolina. And tell me something fun about yourself. Oh, my fun fact is I used to be a radio show um, host. I love that for you. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> Oh, oh, also, let's do a little update on the skin because it has been so looking good. Makeup has not budged. I'm telling you guys. Came to Salt and Straw and I got the roasted strawberry 
and toasted white chocolate, and then underneath I added the cinnamon like snickerdoodle. I want it just like 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 my little fiance right now. <laughs> nice and nice and big. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. What did you get? I got the salted something 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 cookie dough. Uh huh. And then I got the cold brew coffee one. Ooh. It's really good. Boys, oh my goodness, home sweet home. Hello, cutie. I missed you. Do you have a good day? Chillin'? Hi, my love. Hi. Oh my goodness, I miss you. It's actually 7.40 and I'm kind of shocked because we have never been home this early after a day of Disney. My parents did two days in a row and they were so exhausted. So once they said they were ready to go, I was like, you know what? Me too. I'm ready to leave as well. But anyways, we just got back home and on the drive home, I took off my lashes, took off my extensions. I want to give you guys the final check-in on my makeup. I actually didn't even intend for this video to be really a check-in, but might as well, especially since I showed you guys the routine. I'm sure you're curious to know how it looked out the day, but here is my makeup. After about 10 hours, it was not touched up. Other than my lip liner and lipstick, I did not touch up my skin whatsoever. I didn't go in with any powder, anything else. This is just from what I put on this morning and that is it. And with my lipstick and lip liner, I just usually touch up over what I already have. I don't really fully remove it, but that is pretty much all I did. And here is how it looks. And I have to say, it's amazing. It does not budge, it does not move. So if you guys have an upcoming Disney trip or something or somewhere where you are going that you need the makeup to last for a long time, try this routine out. I'm fully aware that these products may not work for everyone. So make sure that you use products that work for your skin type and your skin concerns and kind of what you want and go from there. Just follow the technique and do it in your own way. I'm gonna import this footage, work on some videos, and then get some sleep because I have a super, super exciting day tomorrow. I have to do some wedding stuff, which is so exciting. Um, I definitely owe you guys a video on our wedding. We have so much updating to do. We booked the date already. We have our engagement party coming up. We have our engagement photos coming up and just so many things happening. Finally had a vision of the wedding. And for anyone that's married, I'm sure when you were going through your planning, you would see so much inspiration, but to finally visualize your wedding, how it's going to look in the space that you booked, it hits different once you're like, oh my God, I saw the vision. That was me the other day. I saw the vision and I just like melt inside when I think about it. I'm so thrilled. So this meeting tomorrow is very, very important and I just can't wait. So very soon we'll be giving you guys uh, more of an update on where we're at with the wedding process and everything. Even though we are getting married in 2023, it's not that far. It's gonna come sooner than later. So this whole year is like, planning and i feel like we are just getting started on that so it's getting very exciting but anyways that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go ahead and take off this makeup and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye